Hello, welcome back. It's time for another installment of my makeup collection by Brand. And today we're going to do the balm. Now the balm I got introduced to from Emily Noel. Um, and I really, really love the packaging. And I love the blushes. The eyeshadows are okay, but it's the packaging I think that kills me the most. So this is another one where it's not a big collection, but it's a fun collection. I'm going to start with these two things that I think most people are familiar with. They look a little something like this. This is the Wanted Betty Luminizer. Uh, so gorgeous. And there's Betty on the front. And it says, AKA, the Bronzing Bandit. So if you open this up, it's actually a bronzer with a lot of shimmer, a lot of shimmy in it. And the one that is just most popular, and I find it looks like Renee Zellweger back in her Empire Records days. There it is right there. And of course, that's Mary Luminizer. There it is, probably one of the most popular uh, and well-used highlighters in the YouTube world. It, like, boom. It's, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. If you like subtle highlight, she's not your girl. But if you like to really get, get a glow going on your face, this is beautiful. The one thing about this, though, is it breaks really easy. This is the third one I've had. The first one... I got, I used for quite a while and then I broke it. So I ordered a second one. The second one actually arrived broken. So they replaced it with this one. But it's one of the reasons it's so amazing, right? That you get so much color is because it's so soft. And because it's soft, it breaks easy. So you just have to be careful of it. In terms of little individual pots of things, I did have at one point uh, the Balm Concealer and the Balm Foundation. In my giveaway when I moved to Toronto, I got rid of all that. But I did keep these four little pots because I think they're such a little unique product and I love the packaging. They're called the Overshadow and I have four of them. And I'm going to show you each of them because the pictures are so adorable. So there is a beautiful kind of Rita Hayworth kind of redhead. And this is called, these are called the Sex Pots. So this is Overshadow Sex Pots in the color You Buy, I'll Fly. And it is what you would expect it to be. I, that one's still sealed so I can hold it right up. It's like a gingery red. And the purpose of these is you can wear them alone as shadows or you can put them over the top of other shadows to change the look and luminosity of the other shadows. The other sex pot I have is a beautiful blonde. There she is. And this one is called No Money, No Honey. And that one's open, so I'm not going to tip it too far, but it's like a golden honey color. This one looks kind of like a California girl, maybe an ivory girl type sex pot. And it is called Work is Overrated. <laughs> cute and that one's almost like a it's almost like a pink with a little bit of plum in it very very luminescent and the final one my favorite of course because it looks the most like me it's a real dashing brunette there and this one is called you're rich I'm single and it's kind of a brown a mocha brown in there so those are really really cool like I said I've had them for a long time they, uh, I will probably never get to the bottom of them. They're beautiful on their own, but they're really nice to transform other shadows as well. Now, I have a ton of Balm face products because I think in terms of if you look at like everything the Balm does, the face products, that's their, that's their home run. Basically, they're luminizers, bronzers, and blushes. So I'm going to start by showing you the newest uh, version, which are these instant stains. Now the thing with these, these are long wearing staining powder blush. If you put these on, even when the powder like wears off, it will stain the cheeks kind of like Benetint does, which is a liquid, but this is a powder that has the same effect. And I've got this in four colors. This one is called Lace and it has a beautiful Egyptian woman on the front and it's just a really gorgeous pink. This one's called Toil, and it's got uh, kind of a, a pinup type girl. And it's a real bright kind of poppy color. This one's called Pinstripe, and you can see it's kind of a more of a sophisticated looking woman on the front. And it's a real plummy colored blush. And my favorite, this woman looks kind of like a flapper. It's called Houndstooth. And it's a beautiful dusty rose. This is my favorite color blush to wear. This kind of reminds me of Amorose from the Lancome blush line. But those came out fairly recently. The blushes that have been around forever, which I think are the ones, if you're only going to buy one thing from the bomb, get one of their old school blushes. Um, 
starting with here I have what is called Bahama Mama. All this packaging is cardboard by the way so it's very light easy to travel with but sturdy and Bahama Mama is what you would expect a bronzer. Then we've got Hot Mama. Isn't that cute? She looks a little Hawaiian beach scene and that looks very much like Coralista from Benefit. A beautiful very shimmery kind of duochrome coral blush. I love this one. The scene is so pretty with the tufted bed. And this one is called Sexy Mama and it's basically a translucent powder. And now we get into the boys. <laughs> this is called Down Boy. And they have these great scenes that kind of look like Ann Tainter artwork. And Down Boy is just, a, they all have mirrors as well. It's a really beautiful pink. Frat Boy with the old school looking football helmet. is kind of a corally pink. Finally, my favorite in terms of the name, Cabana Boy. Everybody in life should have a cabana boy. And that's a really beautiful plummy color. And those blushes, you know, they just pop color. They're beautiful. They last. They don't look chalky on the face. I, I love them. Now we're going to get into the palettes. So this is the smallest of the palettes I have. This is called Meet Matte. Matte eyeshadow palette. So this is matte here. And all the eye... There's a mirror and a little brush and all the eyeshadows in here are matte and they give really cute names. So there's in here, there is Matt Smith, Matt McDonald, Matt Batali, Matt Gallagher, Matt Harowitz, Matt Schilling, Matt Ramirez, Matt Chung, and Matt Patal. So I love that they also like make them multicultural names, which is really, really cool. And they're like tiny pots, but really nice matte colors. And then to be a little more salacious, they came up with this bigger one called Meet Matt Nude. So these are all nude colors that are matte. And when you open it up again, a huge mirror and the pots are much bigger here. And you've got Matt Abdul, Matt Lombardi, Matt Hung, Matt Singh, Matt Wood, Matt Rosen, Matt Johnson, Matt Garcia, and Matt Malloy. And this um, matte white is beautiful. I really love it. They came out at one point with these Shady Lady palettes and I got all three of them because they're all in animal print and I'm such a friggin' helpless cougar, I can't help myself. They're called Shady Lady Volume 1, 2, and 3. Volume 1 is this gorgeous leopard and on the back it says, Wear Faux Fur. And it's got that crazy thing that used to be on um, transport trucks, mud flaps in the 70s and 80s. So funny. A nice mirror up top and then nine really nice round shadows. They have some fun names like Caught in the Act, Shameless Shauna, Luscious Lanny, Curvy Cammy, Risque Renee, Jealous Jordana, Jet Setting Jennifer, All About Alex, and Easy Wheezy. Volume 2 is Zebra Print and they all say wear faux fur on the back which is great. I like how they're saying you know we like the prints but we're not going to hurt animals to wear them. And again nine really cool colors. And just so you know what they are, Caught in the Act, Feisty Felicia, Insane Jane, Just This Once Jamie, Make Out Mary, Bossy Bobby, Mischievous Marissa, Tempting Tara, and Devilish Danielle. And finally, Volume 3 is Zebra Print. This one's well loved. You can see I really dug into it a lot. And these are called Lusty Lee, Envious Aaron, Racy, La Racy Casey, Safe Bet, Run Around Rebecca, Come Hither Heather, Open to Offers Alwyn, All the Way Annie, and Guilty Gwen. Now Guilty Gwen is my favorite color, but All the Way Annie would be my name. This is the bomb palette that probably introduced most people to the bomb cosmetics. When Urban Decay came out with the Naked palettes, um, this came out very close on its heels and I feel like most people got to know the brand through this palette. This is called the Nude Tude palette. It's the original Nude Tude and it has the gorgeous girls inside. Some versions of this you can get do not have the, the women. Uh, the colors are the same in both versions, but I love that I have the more salacious one with the ladies. Again, there's a brush at the bottom and each lady has two colors over her. And these are all nude and, um, well, they're, you know, 
they're like a naked palette. There's some nice deep dark colors that you can accent with. In fact, I would say better than Urban Decay in terms of the blacks and the dark browns here to get a real deep look with using the one palette. And just to let you know the names of these, uh, Sassy, Snobby, Stubborn, Standoffish, Selfish, Sultry, Seductive, Sophisticated, Sexy, Silly, Serious, and Sleek. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I am a metalhead. So when this came out, there was no way I was not going to have it. This is the Rockstar palette called Bomb Jovi. Now, I don't know how they get clearance for all their crazy... Maybe Bon Jovi doesn't know about it, but anyway, it's totally like... There's a lot of fun plan words that the lawyer in me is like, how do they get away with this copyright wise? But it's gorgeous. Look at it. It's, it's a guitar that looks a little bit like my Gretsch guitar, but with a set of lips on it. Wings coming off it. The flames in the background. Rockstar Face Palette Bon Jovi. Living on a stair, right? Like living on a prayer. Best Palette This Century Ro Rolling Tone Magazine. Um, and they did this brilliantly. When you open the top, there's the mirror, which is a heart. And it says rock and roll underneath the heart. But here are all your powder products. They did include two cream products, which you know is usually a bummer when they include those together because the fluff from your powder gets on your cream. But they created an extra flap down here at the bottom. So your two cream products are hidden by this flap. Now at the bottom, this little flap says top four smoking hot looks. And it's got like four combinations that you can try that they're suggesting. But of course you can do whatever you like. These down here are lip and cheek stains. Um, and they're called Millie and Vanilli, which is kind of funny, although not very rock and rolly, but nonetheless. So if we close that, the highlighter here is actually Disco Disco Solid Gold Luminizer. And the blush is Pop Pop Don't You Want Me, which of course is like the Human League song, Don't You Want Me. And then in the eyeshadows, it's very cool. They have them organized in strips. This strip is heavy metal. This strip is classical and this strip is alternative rock. So let me just give you the names of them. And if you are fans of any of these music genres, you're going to recognize them. Metallica, Iron Maid In, Led Zeppelin, Alice Copper, Adagio, Allegro, Moderato, and Presto. Those, of course, are for the classical. And then for the alternative, Blink 1982, the Stroke, REM, which is like R-E-M, and Third Eye Blinded. So they've just like changed everything a tiny little bit, I think, to make it legal to have it. But really, really fun palette. Great pickup on those shadows. Good pigmentation. And who can't uh, wake up smiling when you're on the road carrying this? And the final palette that I have to show you, the final thing of the balm, also fits in with my lifestyle because not only am I a middlehead, I am a road warrior. I live my life in hotels, on airplanes, and airports. Because I'm an entertainer, I am always on the road. So when they came out with this bomb voyage, and it's all this travel uh, kind of motif, I knew I had to have it. It's got the lovely uh, retro flight attendant in the middle here. Then there's Manila, America, Italy, Istanbul. Uh, Trans-Australian Railway with all these different fun-looking women. Now, unfortunately, all the women are kind of whitish, but um, I'm sure the bomb will find a way to bring some color at some point. If you look in the back, all the ladies are in the airplane. And when you open it up, it's a cute mirror on the top that has like an outline of a face. You can put your face in the middle. And it says United States of America Passport. Uh, and it's got all the passport information. And then here you have these wonderful shadows that all have numbers. So it's A4, uh, A3, A2, A1, B4, B, you know what I mean? Like kind of set up almost like flights. And then when you pull this down, you've got three uh, beautiful cheek and lip stains called Second Officer, First Officer, and Captain. The Captain color is so beautiful. I hope that hasn't yeah, that hasn't dry, dried out yet, which is lovely because I don't use this as much as I should. And then down here, there are passports that are suggesting combinations for you to use. Um, again, the, the names aren't as fun, but the colors, as you can see, are really, really gorgeous. And then it 
comes that small. So you can really just slide it in, like, you know, fold a pair of pants over it and throw it in your suitcase and you're good to go. That is my bomb collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you're still digging this collection by brand. I am committed to get this done before we move in June. So end of June is our move date. So next up will be Sigma. Um, make sure you stay tuned. And there's still some high-end uh, items to come. I think I haven't done Dior yet. I haven't done um, NARS yet. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Thanks so much for watching today and we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget Denise and I are vlogging every day in April. See ya. Yeah.